Yo guys, Bad Bunch Trends here with another top five. This is about top five facts you may or may not know about Overwatch. Probably one of my favourite games ever, except for Mar the original Mario Bros. Yes, I play that. It's awesome though. And um, anyway, that that's for another video. Uh, basically, I've actually planned out the videos I'm doing per month because I'm going to do six videos a month, two per week. And I'm going to take a break on the last week of the month so I can like get straight and everything like come up with ideas. The new videos coming out because I think on the calendar because I've got a calendar with all my planned videos. Uh, I'm I'm up to the end of or the start of August. And I think the first uh, video for that is Big Hero 6. But that's not until August. And if you hear birds in the background, I'm sorry. It's actually a pretty nice sunny day here in England. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. It's freezing out there, though. But that's not important either. Let's get straight into the top five. Coming into number five, we have the fact that D.Va is the youngest soldier in the game and Reinhardt's the oldest. Diva is 19 years old and is a gamer from Korea, and uh, Reinhardt is a 61-year-old German soldier who basically protects the payload when you're walking along in the game, which most of you, if you've played the game, should know about. If you don't know, I'll just explain. Basically, you're squatting a payload through the level and trying to shoot everyone who tries to steal it. That's it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, they're the youngest, and, I will, and uh, I will be going over their nationalities in the next act. So, on to number four. For number four, we have the nationalities of each Overwatch character to present day at this time of this video is uploaded. So, some of these are pretty surprising, but some of these are so obvious due to the way they behave in the game or the, their accents. So, like, ones that were obvious were Torbjorn, Tracer, Reinhardt, D.Va, because D.Va says in her clothes, Reaper, well, all the American ones are obvious, and uh, Zenyatta, but all the others took me a while to figure out, and Farah. Like for example, uh, for example, junk rat and Roto, I didn't know they were from Australia. For Sinatra, didn't know she was from India. So I'm learning stuff making these videos as well. And Mercy and May, China and Switzerland. Well, I suppose it depends on how they behave in the game. Like if you focus on how they behave, how they speak, you can see a hint of what country they're from, and then Bastion from who knows, probably a robot manufacturer in America. But anyway, on to the next fact. Okay, before I explain this one, I just need to explain something else quick. So, before Overwatch, there was a game that got cancelled called Titan, which was basically Overwatch, just a bit more gory and stuff. And it was, quote, not fun, and it was based on the future. And the first thing people complained about, they said, where are the flying cars? Like, who said in the future there are going to be flying cars? Like, this is becoming, yeah, I'm going to just stop. So, basically, the company uh, decided, like, all right, if we want to keep our reviews up, we need to make every car float. And um, basically that's what you see. Like I found a picture and I circled the car with my awesome red marker. Yeah. But yeah, that's the reason every car must fly. I will admit, if we get that kind of wheels in our cars, I'll be impressed. I'll be sold. Like, get your floating wheels. Sold. Take my money. I can't even drive yet. I know. Silence. But anyway, on to the next fact. Coming into number two, we have the fact that there was going to be an Overwatch map based on a theme park, and guess what it's going to be called? Ready for this? Blizzneyland. Oh my god, I love theme parks so much. But um, this fact was actually said, like two developers said, uh, we're actually considering doing a map called Blizzneyland as a joke, and everyone started laughing. It was actually, uh, that is actually a really cool idea. I would do that if I was like that, but I'm not cr as creative as the people at Blizzard. But yeah, I would absolutely love that. Like, imagine like a theme park called Blizzneyland in real life, where you can be like in Overwatch costume and you can be just shooting people like bow, 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 bow. Obviously, with paintball guns. I heard they still hurt quite a lot. But anyway, I'll never know because I'm never gonna take on paintball ever. But yeah, can you imagine that? Just like an Overwatch theme park, one like for Blizzneyland. Let's make it happen. Also, a like and you'll get a flying car, hundred percent legit and. If you say you didn't get your flying car, I don't know what to tell you. That's because they're fake. I can't afford flying cars to each of my people who like. Besides, I only get like seven likes per... No, not seven, way less. And I only get like four likes per video. If not, let's aim for seven likes. Yeah. Taking the kick at number one, we have the fact that Trace the suit 
was actually made by the one and only Space Gorilla Harambe from Space Winston. You see, Tracy used to be a human ghost, meaning that she could teleport back and forth in time against her will. But since our god Winston remade the suit, she can now travel back and forth at her own will. Explains her travel forward and travel backwards ability. Yeah, that's. I tend to like get sh about to get shot by Roadhog. Just rewind. Like, imagine if we could do that in real life. If I could just say, listen, BBT, stop making terrible videos. And you'd be like, who's BBT? I mind you, 2005. And I'd be like, oh, in the future, you change your name. But that's not important right now. That's going to be for like my 100 subs special. I'll tell you about the story of this channel. So when we get 100 subs, I'll talk about that in a bit more detail. But yeah, that's why Trace is like a orange and grey colour. Which I think is actually a pretty cool suit colour. Like, my choice colour suit would probably be like black and orange. Like, I would be called Pumpkin Badger. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just so you know, it's now two vids a week. So hopefully you can understand that for the rest of this week. I'll be uploading the Ghostbusters video tomorrow. But I'm taking a break for the rest of the week. But I'll be uploading two more next week. I don't even know what I'm uploading next week. I'll have to check the video calendar. But anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.